guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm a full-time reseller on sites like Poshmark, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace, and just recently Kittizen. Um, I haven't actually sold anything on Kittizen, so, um, oop, there's a fruit fly. Um, darn bananas. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I went on, I went thrifting today for the first time in, oh my gosh, I don't know, it's been at least a month actually I've ordered stuff online I just I can't get to the thrift store like my son over here he's drinking his bottle um we will not talk about you I guess <laughs> Ooh, feisty okay but anyways he doesn't sit still to the thrift store and it's really difficult he did all right today I brought like a ton of snacks so that in the cart because he's a very active child so he just wants to get out but he can't like walk yet so anyways I went to St. Vinny's I got a lot I spent like $77.98 and $77.96 and I got a pretty decent amount of stuff so yeah let's jump right into it um so let's start with the first thing here let me take a drink first If you're wondering what this is, um, so I wanted like a really, uh, like a summery drink. We're just kind of staying in tonight. Um, well, we always stay in. But anyways, um, it's vodka, Malibu, pineapple juice, and cranberry juice. And it's delicious. I don't usually drink stuff like that. Usually I'll drink like a White Claw or a Truly or something like that or beer, but that's really good. I just wanted something sweet. He just woke up from a nap, so he's not super happy. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go in any particular order. I'm just gonna jump right in. First thing I got, it was this wicker purse. Um, oh, by the way, red tags was 50% off there today. But it's got like this wooden handle. Um, this turns you open it um and then it's got like the little and I have heard from someone that when they have these little things on the bottom that it's a sign that it's a good quality purse and it feels like really good quality and then I looked at it and the name of it it's Susan Wells made in Japan so um there it is I don't know if you can see that in there it is ripped right here but so it was three dollars but it was a red take so it was only a dollar fifty um, so yeah, I was, I was totally excited to find this because I think this is going to be worth some, not really good money. I'm sorry. He still has a, I don't know why he's doing that. Um, but I think it's going to be worth some decent money. I haven't looked at comps on anything, by the way, so do not, I don't know. I don't, so I don't really know what anything's going to go for. Next thing I found, I was like in the purse aisle for quite a while. <laughs> They had a lot of purses today. This is super cute. It's, uh, are those, these are either labs or um, golden retrievers. So this will be great for Christmas time. Um, yeah, and it's in pretty good condition. It was, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna have to let him cry this out because he is, uh... oh, maybe he's fine now. <laughs> Have kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Just kidding. Um, but anyways, it was two dollars a red tag, so it's only a dollar. So I knew I had to get that because somebody will love that. Okay, so then the next thing I got. Um, sorry, he will not get off me, and I have no other time that I can do this video. I'm just gonna do it, get done and over with. But it's called Italian Shoemaker, and um, they're made. They say they are made in Italy, so I did get them. Um, uh, they're double strapped and they have like, like a wicker straps. Um, and I know wicker is definitely a popular thing and there, there's like the cork wedge. So I don't know. I thought that these could be worth, uh, good money. There's a little bit of wear to them. Like there's some like there, um, maybe I didn't need to pick them up. I don't know. Anyways, they were $2. So 
Yeah, um, and made in Italy typically is a good sign. Not always, but sometimes. So I don't really look up comps when I'm in the store. You shouldn't do that. So don't learn from me. But I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I do. Okay, so the next thing is another purse. It's a wicker purse. Uh, I guess I went big with the wicker. And the reason I got this, so here's the front, and it's a little button. This is going to be hard with him. Um, so you just undo this. Yeah, and then it says made in the Philippines in there. Um, it doesn't say brand or anything, but it really feels kind of like a high quality purse, to be honest with you. So that's why I got it. And it's a nice bigger one. Um, so yeah. So this one was, it was $2 or $3, but it was a red tag. So it was $1.50. Okay. Um, in the swimsuit and bra aisle, I, I got a lot. They had a lot of Speedo and Victoria's Secret. Uh, two really good brands. Um, hi baby. <laughs> So the first thing is just this black uh, swimsuit top. So this was $2. So, and it's Speedo, so I had to get it, and it's in really good condition. Um, I just recently sold a new with tags one-piece Speedo, Speedo, Speedo swimsuit for, like, I want to say, like, $30 that I got from a Wee Bargain box. Surprisingly, Wee Bargain. But, yes, I got it from a Wee Bargain box, and so I realized that Speedo is a good brand. Um, next thing I have, uh, I have a pair of Asics. Now, I did look up comps for these in the store, but they're, and they were kind of all over. They didn't look like, because, okay, let's see. I paid $8 for these, so I paid up a lot, and I, honestly, I'm, like, looking back, I'm like, eh, why did I do that? But they're a size 8, so they're also my size, so I thought maybe I could keep them for myself, because I do need a new pair of shoes. But... Um, yeah, comps are kind of everywhere. They were like from $20 to $50. So I'm going to try to sell them because I really, I personally, I don't like to wear used shoes. Oops. Uh, at least not tennis shoes. Um, yeah, so I did get, go ahead and get them. I paid the $8 and whatever, um, but they're in really good condition. So yeah, I, they're really cute. Um, I'm going to try and see what I can do. I just, I, Kind of had a decent feeling about them, um, so, yeah. Next, I got, an, okay, yeah, oh, holy cow, I didn't realize how many purses I did get. But I got these, they were separate. I was going to sell them, actually, together. Um, look at those. So, this one is not new. This is a used, um, but it's in really good condition, and be nice for someone to go out to the club small purse um so it was three dollars red tag so it's only a dollar fifty and then i don't it doesn't have brands or anything this one was also three dollars so i paid a dollar fifty um but this one's brand new it still has the paper in it and it's got yeah it's just got the paper in it but this gold one really good condition but it's really pretty, like shimmery. Yeah. Don't mind my nails. Um, I did those uh, stick-on nails, and they, like, fell off the first day. Only because I do so many dishes in a day. I'm, like, very anal about my dishes. And I probably do dishes, like, three times a day. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so I thought I maybe could sell these together. They're not, they're actually not the same size or anything. But, yeah, they're really cute. Okay, next I have, this is Ann Taylor. Typically, I wouldn't pick something like this up. It's just a plain sweatshirt, sweater. Really nice. I feel like it's kind of a staple, though, um, for some people. But it's Ann Taylor. It's in really good condition. And I did only pay $2 for it. And it's a size large. So, yeah, I just went ahead and picked it up. And, I mean, yeah, why not? Right? <laughs> Next, okay, I got American Eagle jeans. I, if I find American Eagle jeans in good, good condition, I always pick them up. Um, 
if they're for the right price. These were three dollars. So here they are. Yes. And these are a high or kick boot, a size six. You know what? That's my size. I might actually keep those. I do need more jeans. Okay, the, this I also paid up for because it's Lucky Brand, and I, I haven't had too much uh, from Lucky Brand, but from what I have had, it's sold. It has sold, and it's sold for a decent amount. Um, but this is a new with tags. Original price is seventy nine fifty. I did pay at the thrift store eight dollars for it, but it's like this open. What would you call this? Open knit. Um, sweater and the back's really cool it's got that crisscross detailing and then it has a slit so I just thought it was really cute and I think this could do well and I I like lucky brand they seem to do pretty decent but these would look really good with leggings it's a size medium could easily fit a large um I think this is a last card. so this one I just thought this was really cute uh, there it is. And then it's got like snake print or reptile print, whatever it is, on the side here. Um, you can zip up the sides, make it bigger, you zip them down. Um, yeah, uh, so it is Charming Charlie. I don't know the brand. It was $4, but it's a red tag, so it was only $2. And I've done pretty good with, like, not name brand purses. I have sold um, purses that don't even have a brand for, like, 30 bucks. So, I'm always good with picking up purses when, um, when they're cute. Uh, these, I don't know if I need to share, but I just got these for my son. He needs more long sleeve shirts for sleeping because I don't put them in onesies anymore. They're... But they're kind of a pain in the butt. A uh, dollar fifty, and it was half off, so seventy-five cents. Nothing special. Um, they're not even that cute, to be honest. But a dollar fifty for this one. This one's cute. Okay, next thing. So this, I was really excited to find. It's a torrid bra in excellent condition. Like I don't even know or think that this bra has ever been worn. Like it is in amazing condition. Just a black lace. And it's torrid. I've never found a torrid bra, but I can only imagine torrid. So torrid does really well. Um and it's a super quick, easy flip. So a bra from Torrid, I'm sure will do amazing. Because I know Victoria's Secret bras are usually pretty good. I do have a couple Victoria's Secret bras that are still sitting. Um, that have been in my closet for quite some time, but, which I don't know why, because there's like a really cute pink lace bra. I think I need better pictures of it, but yeah, typically they do really well. So I've never sold a torrid bra, but I'm guessing there it's going to do really well. Um, I paid $4 for this. Next I got, it's a Nike sports bra, like a pink camo. Um, this was $3, but Nike sports bra, it's worth it. It does have some cracking on the logo, but that's all right. I'll just make sure to disclose it. Okay, these, I actually did check comps on these, because I wasn't sure if I was going to get them. So they're $10, but they're red tag, so they're half off. So I only paid $5 for these. But I looked them up on Poshmark, and I found the same exact pair, and they sold for $80. And a couple pairs sold that look, oh, the inside stinks. Darn it. That's going to make the, like a smoky smell, too. Gosh, darn it. Yeah. Usually, they're, uh, the same thrift store, I remember I found some really nice, um, what was it, Keens or Sorrells? It was Sorrells, Sorrell boots, and the smell of smoke in them was terrible, so I did not get them, and they were for a good price, too, so that was kind of a bummer, but I sh these do smell like smoke. I'll have to note that, but um, 
yeah, anyways, I don't know, they, what did, it was, I can't really see the inside, uh, Hunt Club, but these are a woman's cowboy boots, and yeah, they're in pretty good condition, and they do, they smell like smoke, oh my gosh, that makes me sad. That's okay. I paid five dollars for them, and I don't know. I'll put them for fifty, I guess, uh, since one sold for eighty. See what see what it'll do. I don't know. Next, uh, this is just the only reason I got this because it was a red tag. It was three dollars, so it was only a dollar fifty, and it's Victoria's Secret. Um, I looking at it now, I was like, eh, I guess I really didn't need to get this, but it's um, it's cute. A swimsuit top like cheetah or that leopard I can never I don't remember the difference between the two I always have to look it up when I'm posting or listing um but anyways it's very small it's an extra small it looks like a definitely like an older style Victoria's Secret but yeah it's Victoria's Secret next I got my son's on his little four-wheeler. <laughs> Next thing I got, um, this really isn't very push-up-y at all, but it's Airy. That's another good brand. I don't know. Blaine. So anyways, this is Airy is the brand. Um, that's, uh, that's, if you don't know, that's American Eagles, like, at least I'm pretty sure that's American Eagle. Um, it's just their, like, lingerie type and bras, panties. I'm sorry. Are you done? You done? Go play with your new car. Go play with your new car. But anyways, it's in excellent condition. It's lace. It's cute. It's got a crisscross in the back. And yeah, I mean, look at that. Great condition. So I paid $3 for this. Next thing I got. Okay, so I just recently, not recently, but not too long ago, I sold, I, if not the exact same swimsuit, something very similar. Victoria's Secret one piece black swimsuit. It is a 34D and it's a one piece. Um, really good condition. I paid $5 for it. And yeah, the last one I sold, I sold it for like $30, $35. So yeah. That was really cool to find one just like it too. Next, I got another, this is Speedo as well. I haven't really been showing you the brand. But it's just a one piece. Pretty small actually. Here's the back. Um, I paid Blaine, what are you doing? I paid four bucks for it. And what is the size? It's a small size, I can tell. What are you doing? Um, it says 30. Their sizing must be way different yeah but yeah there's that i found this aladdin t-shirt um stuff like this seems to do pretty well so i did get it and it is brand new it's still got the tag on it and then it's got this tag i don't know the store tag and then it's got so it's a red tag it was five dollars um but it's like i said it's red so i only paid a dollar or no, it was five. So I paid two fifty for it. But here it is. And I think that'll do pretty well. It'll do better than two fifty. I know that. Okay, this I if this fits me, I may keep it. But it's a new with tags, Victoria's Secret swim, swimsuit. So I did pay up for it. I paid eight dollars for it. But it's a size small, so I don't know that it's gonna fit me. But yeah, it's a black one piece. 
Um, so I had no problem paying eight dollars for it because, like I said, a used one that I had, I paid five dollars for, and I sold it for like thirty, thirty-five. Um, this one's not like it's got some padding in it, but it's not like the other ones were like a almost like a bra. But anyways, yes, this is this is it. And last but not least, um, I have some more shoes. These are really cute. So these are Kelsey Dagger, and I didn't. So when I looked, I did look up comps for these, um, because they're really cute, and I'm like, I kind of really want to get these. Uh, but this is an anthropology brand, so I was like, heck yeah, I'm getting it. Even though I've heard that anthropology, um, doesn't do as well as it used to, but that's okay. So it's a six, six and a half, it says leather upper, um, yeah, just a really cute flat, it's got like the zipper around the flower, and they're in not excellent condition, but they're in really good condition, and I paid two dollars for them. If these were my size, I would 100% keep these, but they're not. Six and a half is a bit too small. So that is all I have for you guys today. Um, it was a really good shopping trip. I do feel I got some pretty good stuff here. Um, I'm still working on listing all of my, um, what was that, thread up, my thread up boxes. I haven't even gotten to the Target ones. So I probably didn't need to go shopping, but what the heck, why not? Um, it was right there today anyway, so I'm like, ah, let me just stop there. <laughs> But anyways, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you could give me a thumbs up um, and subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks guys, bye.